What's going on, everybody? It's Kanye. Today's video, we're going to be doing another center build. Um, this center build kind of got a unique name. Stay tuned to see it at the end. Typically, these builds are made to shoot. Sometimes they're made to finish. Either way, it's a really fun build. And it's got a really good offensive you know, move set. Not to mention the fact that the build I made, the version of this build I made, can finish both inside and out and still have really good defensive ability. So let's get started. Uh, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. I appreciate all y'all's support and continued support. Um, and I hope y'all continue to enjoy the videos. So we are going to be making a center today. Um, in terms of the skill breakdown, we're going to be going with the more green than red. If you've seen any of my videos involving this pie chart, you know this is easily my favorite pie chart in the game because of its overall versatility. Um, for our physical profile, I'm going to go ahead and go with the pure speed. You can go with the speed invert since we are going to be able to finish some, but I like the pure speed from the aspect of that we're a bigger guy, the faster the better. So we're going to max our close shot, max our driving layup, max our driving dunk, max our standing dunk. Um, for shooting, we're going to max our mid-range, max our three-point, max our free throw. You're going to go ahead and max everything out in playmaking. And you're going to max your interior defense, your defensive rebound, your block, and then you can either up the lateral quickness or the steal. I'm going to go ahead and throw it on the steal. So when we look here at our badge layout, you see we've got five finishing, 17 shooting, six playmaking, and 14 defense and rebounding badges. Um, badge count's a little bit lower. Had to, you know, alter it some. If we make this like we would every other green, red, big man, it'd be called a glass cleaner. And what's the fun in that? So what you can see here is, you know, we got decent finishing ability. Um, we've got good shooting ability. We have decent playmaking, a good playmaking badge count. And we've got good defensive badges and good ratings. Um, one thing I will say is if you want lateral quickness for the pick and pop, helping cover that as a center, you can go with that. I just went ahead and threw it on steel to help pick off passes. Um, for our body shape, go ahead and go with the bit. You're a big man, so be a big man. You know what I'm saying? Go burly or something like that. For our height, go all the way down to 6'9". You want to be as fast as possible. And we want those driving dunk and driving layup ratings to get up as high as they can. Um, for our weight, go ahead and minimize that out um, and then maximize your wingspan. So when we look here at our ratings, at 99 overall, this build is going to have an 89 close shot, 70 driving layup, 76 driving dunk. So basically, when you break that 75 driving dunk threshold, you unlock quite a few driving dunk animations. Not to mention, you're going to have an 88 standing dunk. So you're going to have a lot of those standing dunk animations unlocked as well. Um, from shooting perspective, we're going to have a uh, 81 mid range and a 79 three ball, which you can hit with all day long, especially on a 6'9 center. That's a really good uh, shooting rating to have. Um, playmaking wise, we're going to have a 73 pass axe. You're going to be able to throw the ball accurately. Post control is going to be a 67. So we're going to be able to like kind of handle the ball in the post, you know, be effective enough with it. Um, defensively, 74 interior defense for a build that's got minimum weight and is only 6'9". Having a 74 interior defense is really good. Uh, we're going to have a 97 block and a 95 defensive rebound. You might be wondering why I didn't upgrade the offensive rebound. Well, one reason is to get the build name. You can't upgrade it. But also, since you're primarily a shooter, you're not going to be under the rim a lot to go for those offensive boards. So you don't really need it upgraded. Not to, not to mention the fact that unless it's like a long rebound that would require an all like an awkward animation to catch it, if the rebound's pretty like straight up and down, you can get it with a low rebounding rating. Um, the rebounding rating is really for those ones that are going to be hard to get to, like long rebounds and you reach your arm out and you kind of Odell catch it, you know, things like that. Um, but yeah, so we've got really good, you know, ratings all across the board. When we look at our physicals, we've got a plus eight. You got your plus four for 99, plus four for Gym Rat. So we've got a 85 speed on a 6'9 center, an 84 acceleration, and a 72 vertical. All really good ratings. Not very strong, but that's okay. We're not, you know, a, an inside big. Um, when we look at our takeover options, you can go with sharp take or rim protector take. I'm going to go with rim protector take, and you're going to understand why um, here in just a second, because you're going to see here that we have created a rim protector. So it only makes sense to have rim protector take on this thing. Not to mention the fact that sometimes you can make rim protectors that finish um, more than they shoot. And so having the rim protector take over the sharp take can kind of, you know, keep keep it a toss up on what this build is really good at. But, you know, this build is going to be able to dunk. It's going to be able to catch lobs. It's going to be able to go with it back to the basket. You're going to have quick step to go to the rim. Um, you're also going to have, you know, really good shooting ability and really, really strong defensive ability. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the badges for this build again. If you've hit level 39 in a lot of the seasons in this year's 2K, you've got a lot of extra badges to throw on. So just know I would throw those uh, maybe a couple on defense, maybe a couple on playmaking, maybe a couple on finishing. Um, I threw one on my I, I made this build recently and I threw one on finishing so I could have gold slithery and gold uh, limitless takeoff. So, you know, if you add one here, you can have gold limitless and then so uh, gold slithery. But we only get silver if we don't. Um, for shooting, you're going to want to do 
Hall of Fame Sniper, Hall of Fame Blinders, Hall of Fame Deadeye. And then we're going to throw one on Lucky 7. We're going to go throw two on Catch and Shoot and then two on uh, Hot Zone Hunter. Um, outside of that, you could, you know, throw one on um, something like Limitless Spot Up, Stop and Pop. Not really Stop and Pop. You're not handling the ball. What am I saying? You throw them on Limitless Spot Up or Slippery Off Ball, things like that. But this is how I'd recommend you lay it out since you are going to be a Catch and Shoot guy. Um, and then for Playmaking, I would go ahead and throw on Silver Unpluckable. Uh, go ahead and up your quick first step. Actually, let's take Unpluckable off. You don't, you're not going to be dribbling that much. I, I would do it this way. Um, to start, I would highly recommend you add extra badges to your playmaking. Um, if you want glue hands on bronze, do it this way. But if you add your extra badges, gold these two, you know, maybe bronze glue hands, bronze break starter, definitely bronze unpluckable, things like that. Um, and then for our defensive rebounding, you're going to gold your rebound chaser, bronze your rim protector, gold your intimidator, bronze chase down, uh, bronze block box. Um, go ahead and do bronze interceptor. We've got four left. You could go ahead and max out your rim protector and then throw two on pogo stick. You could do that, or you could do, throw two on worm. If you're not a guy that jumps a lot in the paint, then don't use it, throw it on worm. So that's kind of your options there. And that's how I'd lay it out defensively. Um, overall, really good all around build, really fun build. Um, caught some fun lobs on this thing. I've also, you know, been able to shoot, hit a lot of shots and mess up with the defense. Not to mention, if you catch if you catch the ball and you wait for the center to contest, they'll, they'll jump at you nine times out of 10. You've got a free lane to go get a cool dunk animation. So uh, fun all around build, really effective build. Um, for a red pie chart build, having the ability to finish inside and out, it's a lot of fun. Good all around build. And I hope you all try it out. And if you do, let me know how you like it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Peace.